So in this video, I'll be going over how to complete all seven of the quests for the Prowler. There's going to be one quest for each of these seven items with the red timer on them. As you can see, there's going to be two extra items. One of them is going to be the Prowler skin itself, then also his built-in emote here. For the skin, you have to complete three of these seven different quests. Again, out of these seven, you have to complete three to get the outfit. And to get the built-in emote, you have to complete all seven of these ones, which I'll be going over how to complete now to use a spray at the Daily Bugle. It's gonna be a pretty simple challenge. First things first, you just have to go to the Daily Bugle. It doesn't necessarily have to be right at the start of the match, so you don't have to land there straight away. Just at any point in the match, you just have to visit the Daily Bugle location. And then once you get there, you just have to use a spray. So you will have, have, obviously have to have a spray in your inventory to be able to do this. But if you have the Battle Pass this season, which you do need to get the Prowler anyway, you will have some sort of spray in your locker that you'll be able to use for this challenge so again you just have to come to the daily bugle at some point as you can see here and then you'll have to open up your emote menu and then you'll be able to use a spray so if you don't already know oh listen on the chip right here if you don't already know what button it is for you to emote just go into your settings then into your keybinds here with this scroll down a little bit until you see emote so for me it's n it'll tell you here what your emote button is press that one then go along the tabs at the top until you find sprays. Then literally just any of these sprays that you have, you can use one of those. And then you see when it puts the spray on the ground, that is going to be how you know that you've completed that challenge. You need to search chests before taking any damage in a match. Now the challenge itself is pretty simple. However, it's going to take a little bit because you have to do it seven times over the course of seven different matches. So essentially what this means is you just have to open a chest before you take any sort of damage. It can be from a player, it can be from the storm, it can be fall damage. You just have to make sure that you open a chest before taking any damage. So what I recommend you do for this is go just right at the end of the battle bus, whether it be the nearest name location, like I could have gone to Greasy Groove, just any sort of building. Just drop right at the bottom, then just look around, look for some chests so I can see on top of these. Okay, there's a chest over there that's a little bit risky to get to though. I can see a chest on top of here. Let's just fly around in the air. And look for a chest to get to so you can see i can get to this chest very easily and very safely so i'm going to do just that i'll open up this chest like so and then that is going to be one out of the seven done for this challenge because i opened that chest before i took any damage in this match it's going to be as simple as that to mod a vehicle then drive at 500 meters in a single match so for this challenge if you want to just get the challenge done nice and quickly you're going to be starting off the match by landing at a gas station i'll be going to this one as an example here on the map but you could also go to the one south of Tilted Towers, the one up here, the one over here, maybe one in Coney Crossroads. There's a bunch of these different gas stations on the map that you can go to. Um, the one up here as well, west of Logjam Lumberyard. And at all of these, you want to do essentially the same sort of thing. Most of these will have a little building to the side of the petrol area, which will have a vehicle spawning inside 100% of the time, just like here. And then more often than not, there'll be some tires spawning behind it. Okay, now I'm going to have to get out of the vehicle because someone was shooting at me. But just imagine the vehicle's back over there. What you want to do is then use your modded vehicle, modded tires, and throw it on the vehicle like so. And then you've modded the car just like that. Now, if you don't get tires spawning on the ground, you can also break piles of tires and those will have a chance to actually drop the modded weapons. So you can see over there, those sorts of tiles on the ground. You can try breaking those and that will have a chance to drop the tires which you can put on the car. And then once you've modded the vehicle, I'll turn the radio off very quickly and I'll turn the sound down as well because it is pretty loud inside the car. But then you can use either the off-road tires, which is what I've used, or alternatively, if you get a cow catcher, you can put that on as well. Whichever mod you use though, once you've put that on the car, you then have to drive in the car for a total of 500 meters and you have to do all of this in the same match. So you can see, I started back over there and that is now 350 meters away so I'll just drive a little bit further away and then once you get again 500 meters away from the gas station that you started at that is going to complete this challenge to collect different weapon types of epic rarity or higher in a single match now this challenge itself is a little bit difficult and luck based but also actually understanding it and knowing what it means and what you have to do is going to be difficult to understand which is the main reason I wanted to cover this challenge because it's worded pretty weirdly. So essentially what this means is that in the same match, you have to find three different weapon types of purple, gold, mythic, or exotic 
and it has to be three different weapon types. So for example, you could find a purple shotgun, a purple sniper, and a purple assault rifle, and that is going to be three different weapon types, all of an epic rarity or higher. So you could also find a purple shotgun, a gold SMG, and a gold sniper. Those are three different weapon types, and they're also all above epic rarity. Hopefully that made sense though, so again, to put it simply, it has to be three different types of weapons, for example, shotgun, sniper, SMG, all in the same match, and then it also has to all be epic rarity or above. Then the remaining challenges, which are a lot easier, are going to be to damage opponents while crouched or sliding. I think it's about 300 damage, 500 damage, something between those, and all you're going to have to do is just deal damage while you are crouched or sliding. Both of those use the same keybind, so just make sure you know what your crouch button is in your settings and you'll get that one done pretty easily. And you've got to headshot opponents with a thermal weapon. No real strategy for that one, you just have to get lucky in finding a thermal scoped assault rifle, then just get headshots with it. And then last but not least, the easiest challenge of all of these, all you have to do is just collect a total of 300 bars. You'll get bars just by playing Fortnite. As you can see right here on the left, I've got 1,344. And you'll get them by just opening chests, getting kills, completing bounties, stuff like that. So you'll get that one done in no time just by playing Fortnite regularly. That is going to be all of those Prowler challenges and how to complete them all. If you guys do have any more questions about any of those, comment down below. I'll do my best to get back to you on that. Otherwise, that's it for me for now, and I'll see you all next time. See ya.